now we will solve some questions based on quadrilaterals but before that let's look into our last theorem which is also one of the most important ones the midpoint theorem the midpoint theorem says that the line joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side that is that uh, if I draw a triangle and then uh, I'm drawing this line segment if this is triangle ABC and these are the points E and F and E is the midpoint of AB and F is the midpoint of AC. Then the midpoint theorem says that, that this line segment EF would be parallel to the third side that is BC. EF would be parallel to BC. Now we have to prove this theorem. For proving this, let me draw a line parallel to AB. And I'll extend this here. We'll call this point D. Now let's prove the midpoint theorem. Here, angle AFE, angle AFE is equal to angle CFD because they are vertically opposite angles, hence they are equal. Also, we know that. AE is parallel to DC. Therefore, angle AEF would be equal to angle CDF. Angle AEF is equal to angle CDF. And since F is the midpoint of AC, we know that AF will be equal to FC. AF is equal to FC. From these three equations, we can say that triangle AFE, triangle AFE is congruent to triangle C F D so since these two triangles are congruent we can say that E F is equal to F D E F is equal to F D also D E is equal to EA because E is the midpoint of AB and both of them are equal to DC because of these two triangles being congruent. Now since BE is equal to CD and also both of them are parallel hence we can say that the quadrilateral BE DC is a parallelogram and since this is a parallelogram we can say that ED is parallel to BC and hence the midpoint theorem has been proved now there is another way of stating the midpoint theorem which is that that if a line is drawn through the midpoint of one side parallel to the another another side 
then it bisects the third side that is if I had drawn a line from point E which is the midpoint of AB and parallel to BC then it would cut AC at F and F would be the midpoint of AC it can be proved similarly as we did earlier Now let's solve an example. Here we have been given a parallelogram. Let me draw it first. And we have this diagonal we will name it a b c d and we have been given that a c bisects the angle a that is this angle is equal to this angle And we have been asked to prove that, that the diagonal AC also bisects the angle C. <coughs> and also we need to prove that, that this quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus. Okay. Now let's prove this. This is a parallelogram. Therefore, BC would be parallel to AD. And since BC is parallel to AD, we can say that angle B C A B C A would be equal to angle B A C B E A would be equal to B A C and similarly A B is parallel to D C so angle B A C is equal to angle A C D. Now we have been given that angle D A C is equal to angle A C D. So here we conclude that angle B C A would also be equal to angle B A C. Angle B C A is equal to angle B A C. And also we can finally say that angle B C A would be equal to angle A C D since here we can see that angle D A C and angle B A C are equal hence angle B C A and angle A C D would also be equal so we have proved that A C bisects angle C Now from this equation, we have angle BCA is equal to angle BAC. Hence, we can say from this equation that triangle ABC is isosceles. Therefore, AB is equal to AC. This is a parallelogram in which AB is equal to BC. I'm sorry. 
This is BC. That means the adjacent sides are equal. And if the adjacent sides are equal, it means that the quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus. This is what we needed to prove. Now let's come to our last problem in which we have a right angle triangle right angle let's see also the midpoint of the hypotenuse AB is M through which a vertical line is passing this line is parallel to BC and meets AC at D we have been asked to prove that CD is equal to DA that is we have to prove that D is the midpoint of AC also we have to prove that MD is perpendicular to AC and finally we need to prove that CM is equal to AM now in triangle ABC we have MD parallel to BC and also M is the midpoint of AB. So from the midpoint theorem we can say that D would be the midpoint of AC. That was the first thing we had to prove. Quite simple. Now we have to prove that MD is parallel to AC. Now since MD is parallel to BC with DC being the transversal we can say that angle MDA is equal to angle BCA and angle BCA is equal to 90 degrees. So it's, it has been proved that MD is perpendicular to AC. Lastly, we have to prove that CM is equal to AM. For proving this, consider the triangles CMD and the triangles AMD. Now, since MD is perpendicular to AC, we have angle MDA is equal to angle MBC is equal to 90 degrees and MD is common to both these triangles and also we know that D is the midpoint of AC so we can say that CD is equal to AD hence the triangle C and D is congruent to triangle A and D by by S S A test. Or rather S A S test doesn't matter actually. So both these triangles have been proved to be congruent. So from their congruency, we can say that C M would be equal to A M. This was the last thing we had to prove. Thank you.